Hey guys, uh, welcome back uh, to the channel. Obviously, as you can see from the title of the video today, I'm going to show you guys uh, how you can build your mining rig uh, at home. And um, yeah, I'm going to try and keep it as uh, simple as possible. But obviously, since we have to cover a lot of things, uh, because we are building a PC and beyond that, uh, maybe the video is going to be a little bit too long, but uh, I'm going to try and make it as short as possible. By the way, as you can see from the photos uh, at the beginning of the video, I have a liquid cooled uh, uh, mining rig that I'm going to build. Uh, but uh, for most of you, obviously, the, uh, the mining rig is going to be on air. So uh, I think uh, for you, it's going to be much, much easier than uh, what I'm going to go through. But the basics of building a mining rig are going to be here. And I'm going to try and explain to you uh, as best as I can. So, uh, first thing, obviously, uh, as we already said, we are building a PC, so we need motherboard, CPU, cooler of the CPU, and RAM, which uh, are the basics, obviously, for the system. Here, as you can see, I have an Intel-based uh, system first. I'm going to show you also the AMD. Now, for the, CP, uh, for the Intel CPUs, you need to keep in mind that the Intel CPUs uh, has the pins uh, on the socket of the motherboard does not have the pins on the CPU itself So the CPU is going to be flat and the pins are going to be on the socket so we just uh, open the bracket carefully and then we open that bracket too and uh, the thing that we need to ma uh, to keep in mind when we install a CPU is to keep an eye for a golden triangle on one of the corners of the CPU that needs to be aligned with a sign or with another triangle on the socket. So just keep that in mind. Just put in uh, the CPU, wiggle it a little bit just to be sure that it's seated. And then we just close the bracket and that's it for the CPU. We are basically done and we can go on with the other steps. Okay, the next step is the thermal paste. Don't forget the thermal paste. Uh, you can do a small portion. I like to do an uh, X uh, with the thermal paste. And then we go on uh, with the cooler. Usually the modern coolers uh, come with screws, but this one is uh, an old cooler. So as you can see, it is with plastic pins. So basically you just uh, align the pins with the holes on the motherboard and you just put it in by pushing it down. Obviously don't forget to connect the fan of the CPU on the CPU. Uh, fan header some other boards might have multiple uh, CPU fan headers, but usually it is labeled uh, Then in my case, I just as I told you I just turn by hand the plastic um, uh, The plastic clips and that's it. That's how it goes uh, into place But most of them are going to be with screws then is the time uh, for installing the RAM the RAM is very easy just open the brackets that we align the notch uh, on the RAM with the notch uh, on the motherboard. So we just press firmly until you hear a click, a very click sound, and you see that it is seated properly. And then obviously you grab the next one if you have two RAMs. And yeah, I did this on purpose just to show you that they don't align. You need to align the two notches. And then you go into the two rails and then push it firmly. And then it is snuck. And that's it. Uh, RAM installed, CPU installed, cooler installed. So we are uh, basically done. As for the uh, AMD platform, obviously the procedure is the same, but uh, obviously the difference is the CPU because now the CPU has the pins. So you need to be very careful with the pins of the AMD CPUs because they are very fragile. And obviously, as usual, don't forget about the golden triangle on the CPU that must be aligned with the sign or with the triangle uh, on the socket of the motherboard and just put in the CPU. And then obviously we lower the retention arm because I said brackets before, but it is a retention arm and we are good to go. Basically, the procedure is the same. So motherboards uh, uh, has uh, only one pin of the RAM that uh, goes down, like in this case. But uh, the procedure is the same. Put in the CPU, put in the thermal paste, and then put in the cooler. Don't forget to, uh, to install, obviously, the, the CPU fan header. Uh, so the, obviously the fan uh, rotates, and then put in the RAM, and we are good to go. 
The next item is optional. This is a power button, a very cheap one that you can find almost in any store. But if you don't want to use them, you can always short the motherboard if you want to power it on that way. And how you can locate uh, uh, the place where the front panel goes. So basically to install the power button or to short the pins is really easy. Uh, the front panel it is located in the lower right hand part uh, of the motherboard and if you look uh, carefully you will see that uh, the front panel IO has uh, four pins on the top and it has five pins uh, on the bottom and the power uh, bottom pins are the two pins uh, on the right uh, in the upper row so in the row where we have four pins the two pins on the right and then we have an empty pin those two pins are for the power uh, for the power button basically if you have the power button you just put in the power button there if you just want to short them with a screwdriver or with ev anything metallic you just touch those pins uh, together and basically uh, that's it then the system will power on by doing that if for some reason uh, you use a power button and the um, uh, the motherboard doesn't turn on then you can flip the uh, you can flip the um, uh, the pins and try that way and see if that works okay now another component that we're going to need obviously it's uh, an SSD uh, and um, uh, obviously, I would uh, definitely recommend an SSD over a USB drive because uh, with HiveOS, uh, Simple Mining OS or EthOS, you can easily use a USB drive to install the system. But if you want to use Windows and if you want to uh, have a reliable and very fast system, I would definitely recommend a cheap SSD. They are going very, very cheap. You can get 120 uh, gigabyte uh, SSD with uh, as low as $20, maybe even low, and it's going to be a new one. And obviously it's going to need a serial data cable, a power cable, and that's it. We are ready to install the system uh, on the SSD, obviously the system that you are going to use. Okay, until now, uh, all the parts that we have talked about are PC parts. But uh, now another part that we're going to need for the mining rig that are not PC parts, uh, basically for normal PCs, obviously are the risers. Uh, as you see in the video, the risers basically are... Um, uh, the places where we're going to install the GPUs outside uh, the motherboard because obviously we cannot install uh, six or more GPUs uh, in the motherboard. So for that we're going to need uh, the risers to be able to install more CPUs uh, on the same motherboard. And uh, the last but not the least, the most important part for a mining rig definitely are the GPUs and uh, we all know that uh, with the GPUs um, uh, we are going to do the actual mining so that's why the GPUs are the most important part uh, of uh, the PC so basically uh, that's it these are uh, the parts that we're going to need then for the frame where we are uh, where you are going to mount uh, all of this is going to be your choice so you can get a conventional frame or you can build a, uh, your own like I'm going to build my own and as you can see on the video here this is how uh, the GPU installs uh, to the risers and then obviously the riser needs to be power on in this case my riser is power on by a serial data cable then we have the USB cable that is going to go from the riser uh, and is going to install to the motherboard so the motherboard can recognize the GPUs and then obviously we can mine with them. So now, uh, yeah, I guess now we are ready to begin uh, with the building part uh, of uh, my uh, mining rig because as I told you, you can uh, build your own and you, and you can choose um, and you can uh, choose obviously your uh, um, uh, your own frame that you are going to build your mining rig on but I'm going to show you a secret now that I have uh, because uh, uh, usually some people do the building of the whole mining rig first and then they power on the system and begin with installing the, uh, uh, the operating system and everything else but what I'm going to do is I'm going to power on the system before building the mining rig just to make sure that it works and then we're going to go ahead and mine and uh, build uh, the whole mining rig.
Okay, so this is going to be the actual PC that I'm going to use. So yeah, don't forget about the PSU. Uh, install the 24 pin power cable, the 8 pin power cable for uh, the CPU. And now what uh, I'm going to do, obviously, as I already told you, I'm going to power on the PC for the first time before building it and just make sure that everything works obviously install the operating system and everything else and uh, make it ready for work and then i'm going to to install the gpus one by one again just to make sure that they work and everything is fine and as you see everything it works it has recognized the, the ssd every part of the system I have already installed the HiveOS system on my SSD. If you want to know more about how to use HiveOS, uh, I have a full series of videos about HiveOS. Just search for my channel for the playlist and you will find everything there. And um, yeah, basically that's it. Next, as I already told you, obviously I'm going to install uh, the other GPU just to, again, to make sure that uh, they work uh, perfectly. So basically, I'm going to install them one by one uh, just to be sure that everything works correctly. Because if you install them all together, you might run into a problem and you might... Uh, uh, you might need to find which GPU is the problem or which riser is the problem so you have to disconnect everything again. So I like to install them one by one uh, before uh, building the full mining rig. Obviously it is a little bit risky where I put it but I didn't have any other place for the moment. We install the power for the riser, we install the power for the GPU, already installed the USB cable and the PCIe adapter to the, uh, to the motherboard and basically that's it. We turn on the power, everything when connected and disconnected need to be, needs to be done with the power off, to, don't, uh, don't forget this. And then we power on the system obviously and everything seems to be working and as we will see on the screen now everything uh, it is connected like uh, it should and um, yeah basically i will go on with every gpu by adding one gpu at a time until i see that all gpu work uh, uh, work and all um, and all risers work now basically we are good to go but obviously you want to see my mining rig and here it is all built because it's a liquid system I have uh, collect, uh, connected everything and this is uh, the leak test that I'm going to do for 24 hours I have connected everything I will uh, I have turned on the system and I will let it run for at least 24 hours just to make sure that uh, it doesn't leak and everything is fine with the cooling system and then I'm gonna go with the building uh, of uh, the rig itself. Okay now more specifically I have some photos um, uh, about the building process of my uh, mining rig because I decided to do an unconventional way. I went for a flat um, uh, building uh, of uh, my mining rig because I didn't have a 90 degree or 45 degree fittings so it was very difficult to do uh, a normal uh, frame for the rig so I went uh, for a flat one and basically as you see from the photos this is just my choice obviously you can build it however you like it's not that you need to do uh, like I did it but basically uh, that's uh, uh, this is what I decided and here you see the full uh, uh, build of the rig this is the final build one issue that I ran uh, with my mining rig was that I need to turn on I needed to turn on in the BIOS 4G decoding and uh, get the PCIe uh, uh, PCIe uh, slots uh, to Gen 2 because in auto and Gen 1 they didn't work but in, in Gen 2, uh, if you set them in Gen 2, everything went fine and my PC turned on. And yeah, there you have it. Uh, basically, that was it. This is uh, the final shot. Yeah, I hope you guys uh, really enjoyed this. Uh, and if you have uh, any other questions, just uh, obviously let me know on the comment section. Obviously, I know that I have left many, many parts out of this, but I wanted to make this uh, as easy as possible. Uh, and as short as possible but yeah for any question just let me know and I will be gladly uh, answer for those um, and uh, yeah most of all don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned uh, for other videos uh, maybe if you want to see 
how I configure it, but as I already told you, I have uh, a full series of videos about uh, Hive Mining OS and how you can uh, get, your, uh, get you to mining uh, for that, because it is basically the same procedure. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe again, uh, turn on post notification for more me uh, videos. Don't forget to share this with other people that want to get into mining and want to know how they want to build uh, their own PC. And as usual, I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye, bye.